we've got some news. So first up in what is obviously our biggest story of today, new gift stickers have been added to Pokemon Go. So these stickers are available either through opening gifts or through purchasing through the in-game shop. So if you've ever been in need of a sticker of a surprise Mudkip or a Grateful Torchic or even an Oshawa that's contemplating his life choices, you're in luck. So next up in raid related news, the Lava Dome Pokemon Heatran will be returning to legendary raids from now until September 10th at 1pm Pacific time. Uh, this Pokemon is a fire and steel type Pokemon so it's best to bring your best fire fighting and or ground type Pokemons for this raid battle. And it is also worth noting that Heatran does have its shiny form available so for any of you shiny hunters out there who still need shiny Heatran, I wish you best of luck in your upcoming raid battles. So next up in what is actually our biggest story of today is once again time to vote for the Pokemon that will be featured in the upcoming September and October Community Days. Uh, much like last time, there are four Pokemon to choose from, the first of which will be Charmander, which if evolved to Charizard, will learn the exclusive fast attack Dragon Breath. Um, the next candidate is Caterpie, which unfortunately does not seem to be featuring a cowboy hat, but if it is evolved to Butterfree, it will learn the exclusive charge attack, Hurricane. Um, the third Pokemon in consideration will be Grimer, which if evolved to Muck, will learn the uh, exclusive charge attack, Fire Punch. And finally, the last candidate will be Porygon, which if evolved to Porygon Z, will learn the exclusive attack, Tri Attack. Um, it is worth noting that, so, so, that this attack will be a brand new addition to Pokemon Go. In the case of PvP, it will have the chance of decreasing an opposing attack, Pokemon's attack and defense. So with the candidates in mind, voting will take place on the official English language Pokemon Go Twitter account, which I'll go ahead and have linked in the description down below. And you can place your vote anytime between Saturday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. Pacific time, all the way until Sunday, August 23rd at 6 p.m. Pacific time. The Pokemon with the most votes will be the Pokemon featured on September Community Day, which will take place on Sunday, se September 20th. And the Pokemon with the second most amount of votes will be featured on October's Community Day, which is on Saturday, October 17th. So all in all, looking at the candidates, uh, it does look like Porygon will most likely get the most amount of votes. If last voting community day is any indication, considering the fact that much like Weedle last time, Porygon is the only Pokemon in this list that does not already have its shiny form available. Um, plus, Porygon does have a really, really nice shiny line as well, so that gives it a big boost. And it's getting itself a brand new move. As to how effective that move is, either in PvP or even potentially in like raids and gyms and whatnot, that's yet to be seen. But all in all, I think Porygon has a really strong chance of making it to at least one of the community days. Besides that, while Charmander has had its time in the community day spotlight on multiple occasions, um, the fact that Charmander will not be receiving the fast attack Dragon Pre Breath is a really big plus to it. Um, this not only gives Charizard a chance to be more meta relevant in I think Ultra League especially, but considering the fact that Mega Evolution seems to be very much on the horizon and the fact that Mega Charizard does have its secondary Dragon typing, having access to a Dragon type fast attack is very valuable. Beyond that, for in the case of Grimer, I think Fire Punch is a rather interesting move to add on to um, Muck and or Alolan Muck for that matter. Um, ultimately, I guess it does give it a chance to do a bit more damage to steel types of anything, but beyond that, I don't really know too if it will really affect Muck or Lola Muck that much to add Fire Punch. And finally, for Caterpie, unfortunately, I don't really see any major benefit of getting a Butterfree with Hurricane, either in Raid, Gym, or PvP sense. One case I did see for Caterpie in a couple of in a couple of comments uh, regarding Community Day is that um, since Caterpie is an, is a Pokemon that's much easier to capture than the rest of them, it does uh, give the opportunity to be able to grind XP for a lot of people. 
more importantly, uh, Stardust uh, much more effectively. So I guess Caterpie has that going for it, but beyond that, I don't really see a reason to go with Caterpie. Um, once again, voting will take place on the official English language Pokemon Go Twitter account. Saturday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. till Sunday, August 23rd at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And once again, the link to the official Twitter account will be available in the description down below. So for our final bit of news, there are a couple of makeup events that will be occurring very soon in Pokemon Go. In fact, I think one is currently happening right now. Now that I think about it. First and foremost, in the Asia Pacific region, there will be a Pokemon Go Fest makeup event again <laughs> on Sunday, August 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in your local time. And this will primarily be affecting trainers in the Asia Pacific region, um, specifically in the time zones from UTC plus 7 to UTC plus 14. Ultimately, like last time, this will be for each hour of this event, it will feature a different Pokemon Go Fest habitat, the first of which will be Fire, followed by the Water habitat, and finally closing out with the Friendship habitat. It does note that there will be certain Pokemon that will appear only through incense, so definitely be using that throughout the event. Um, it is worth noting though that other features such as rare candies being in gifts, as well as the special free box, will not be available for this makeup event. If you've purchased a ticket for the previous Go Fest and, have, and haven't really been able to capitalize on these habitats in either Pokemon Go Fest proper or through the last makeup event, hopefully this time you'll be able to get yourself to capitalize more on those habitats. So finally, the other makeup event is a makeup event for the Dragon Week timed research. Uh, this research will be available from now until Wednesday, August 26th at 10 p.m. in your local time. During this time, you'll be able to access a slightly tweaked version of the time research that was available during Dragon Week. Uh, it is worth knowing though that the spawns that were occurring through that the wild spawns and everything that were occurring through dragon week will not be available in this makeup event on the plus side it does give an opportunity to at least catch two more danos as far as i'm aware so uh, ultimately if you weren't able to capitalize on the time research from last time uh, this will definitely be an excellent opportunity to catch up on that so that's all the news I have for today. Hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy during this time. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.